Hey, good morning, YouTube. So uh, it's time for me to load up and go get this lathe. So I've got a 16 foot box truck and I'm gonna put the camera in time lapse. I'm gonna load all this stuff and I'm gonna load the crane I built and I'm gonna go pick up my Monarch 14C lathe, which weighs about 4,500 pounds. So I'm gonna put it in time lapse and let you guys see how I load the truck. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Be sure to like the video if you've enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. All right, so I had a little bit of an adventure there with loading the um, crane. Uh, the lift gate is na much narrower than I was expecting. I'm used to having 82 or 84 inch lift gates, and this lift gate ain't nowhere near 84 inches. So I thought, well, maybe I can get away with sliding one end in because this truck is kind of low. Yeah, that didn't work so well either. So you saw me flip the crane over end over end, which is pretty... And that's a stupid move. So anyway, then I picked it up using my Harbor Freight shop crane. No harm, no foul. At least I know I can do it. And um, my yard guy, of course, decides to blow the leaves out of my driveway as I'm struggling with the crane. He did offer to help, but I told him no because I really want to make sure I could do this by myself. Um, because if not, I, then I need to round up a helper for today. So anyway, I was able to jack up one end and kind of walk it in, and that speaks to why the crane is built with independent lifts, is for situations like this. So anyway, I've got all the supplies I need loaded, and I'm about to go get my suitcase, my computer bag, and my cash, and get the heck out of Dodge. Um, oh, I do need a lock on this thing. Let me deal with that right now. And I'll make sure I have a key to it. You know, locks don't really keep anybody honest, but they, you know, locks don't stop thieves. What locks do is stop honest people from becoming thieves. So we'll just put that right there. And with that, I, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna, I, I've gotta stop at Harbor Freight and pick up a couple more tie down straps. I just don't have heavy duty straps like I'd like. I've only got two of those and I really wanna have four. Um, and other than that, we're good to go. So, uh, and I gotta get diesel because I've only got like a third of a tank. Um, and, but this is a nice, sweet little truck from Enterprise, and uh, I'm gonna head out to San Antonio. It'll take me about four hours to get there, and I will uh, start filming again when I get where I'm going and let you guys see the um, skidding and loadout process on late. Now, that will be a separate video. So if you've enjoyed this video, again, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel so you can find out more about my videos. Check out my playlists. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. You know, locks don't stop thieves. What locks do is stop honest people from becoming thieves. So we'll just put that right there. 
and with that, I, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna, I, I've got to stop at Harbor Freight and pick up a couple more tie down straps. I just don't have heavy duty straps like I'd like. I've only got two of those and I really want to have four. Um, and other than that, we're good to go. So, uh, and I got to get diesel because I've only got like a third of a tank. Um, and, but this is a nice, sweet little truck from Enterprise, and uh, I'm going to head out to San Antonio. It'll take me about four hours to get there, and I will uh, start filming again when I get where I'm going and let you guys see the um, skidding and loadout process on Lake. Now, that will be a separate video, so if you've enjoyed this video, again, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel so you can find out more about my videos. Check out my playlists, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.